Hey, welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name's Greg. Today I'm doing another look at our new cooler that we just picked up. It is the AJ40 by Set Power. Uh, in our last video, I did an initial cool down. I took and I shoved this thing completely full of water bottles that were about 70 degrees ambient temperature. And I did a cool down test using the jack right here and uh, saw how long it took. Now, if you'd like to see that video, there's a link right above for that. Today, I actually want to go from using it as a refrigerator to using it as a freezer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plug it into the Jackery. We're going to run this thing down to the lowest temperature, which is zero. And we're going to see how long it takes to uh, freeze up some ice. Now I've got a tray filled with water. So first thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and pull out the included basket that comes with the set power cooler. I'm going to go ahead and easily drop in this tray of ice. And it just barely, barely fits in there. But it made it. Go ahead and uh, close the lid. Plug her in with the included power cord, and we're going to plug into our 12 volt on our Jackery, and the Jackery should be at 100%, which it is. So we're going to go ahead and turn the DC power on. She's on. The cooler is now showing on, and now we'll just go ahead and it's on the max setting, and press and hold the minus until we hit zero. She is set at zero, she's flashing. And shortly we should hear the cooler or compressor kick in, which we just did. Now we're gonna let it go. And we're gonna see how long it takes. Now the time on the phone is 9.07 in the morning. So, here we go. So I'm not going to bore you with coming back and showing you half hours or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and just let it go, see where it's at, come back and let you know what I think and how long it took. I've also got a uh, thermometer which says it's 70 degrees in there right now. We'll set that down at the very bottom. So we'll be back in a few hours when this thing is frozen. All right, so right now it's showing 14, and we seen with the gun, heat gun, that you know the walls are negative three. Stay up, bit of wind, negative four, negative five. The ice is freezing really good, but it's not getting down that full temperature. And I think part of that is because there's nothing in here. So we're gonna load it up with some extra stuff. Help it along. So I'm gonna go grab some more stuff, put it in here, and then we'll see how the temperature does. See if it gets down and holds that uh, zero degrees that we're looking for. Just thought I'd uh, give you a little update to something I'm doing. Now, like I say, it's cold in there, but it's not down to that zero yet. And I think part of it is, of course, because there's nothing in there to help retain the cold. So. I'm going to get some more stuff, load it up, and then, I, of course, I'll come back with uh, some more updates if I have any. Or we'll come back when we're at zero. All right, so we've got it down to five degrees. It is 447. It was taking most of the day. But I also think part of that is because I only had ice uh, water in the ice tree to start. I'm going to some of this. We're going to get down to that ice tray and get it out. Now, you can see I took one of the ice cubes out earlier. Go ahead and pop one. And there we go. We got a nice solid ice cube right there. We're going to throw those back in. We'll put this stuff back in place. Right 
down here. And like I say, it's showing five degrees at 4.48 in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just let it go overnight. Uh, I'm just going to leave the jackery as is. The solar panel's out. Uh, and 98% on the jackery. And then we'll just let it go overnight. And uh, tomorrow morning we'll come back out see where it's at. See if it's down at that zero mark. And also see what the jackery's at. So for you, right now, for me, see you in the morning. And we're back. It's been overnight. It's now about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, so about 24 hours on this test that we run. Uh, the Jackery uh, was uh, had solar till about 8.30 last night and then uh, Shadow uh, cut that down. So since 8.30 last night, she's been going. I also set this to Econo mode. So we're about 69% on the Jackery right now and we're showing four degrees on the cooler. Like I say, it's about 8.30 in the morning. Got my heat gun. We're gonna come inside real quick and take a look. And the walls, negative 15, uh, four, three on the food, uh, negative one, negative two in that area. The uh, little uh, storage compartment off to the side is actually at uh, just under 30 uh, degrees, so 29, 28 degrees. So real good job. Um, and I know once I get the solar panels into the sun and start getting the jack recharged back up, it'll probably be ready to go again uh, for the next night. Of course, we've got some uh, clouds and stuff like that. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit longer to get the jack recharged back up. But honestly, uh, as far as being a cooler, <laughs> I mean, not bad at all. Kept the stuff cool. Let's check out our ice that we made up yesterday. And solid as a rock. So, freezer test worked. Now, I, it pretty much ran all night on the you know, the compressor ran, um, working on keeping it cool. Uh, if I do kick it up into uh, the refrigeration mode, I'm sure it'll go off. Jackery would last a lot longer, of course. But our test was to see how well it would uh, cool down, how long it take to get to uh, zero, which it never really did show zero on the, on the um, display here. But like I say, we're hitting uh, on the walls, negative 11, negative 8, 9, uh, our food was at one, five, four, you know, just kind of with a heat gun. So, well, there's the freezer test of our AJ40 cooler by set power. Pretty happy, not too bad. Uh, it's drawing 38 watts right now. Last Yesterday it was pulling in the 60s, so it definitely has dropped down as the temperature's gotten closer to that set point that we were aiming for, which was zero. And like I say, it just displays four up here, but yet I was getting negatives inside the compartment. So not a bad cooler for uh, the price. Anyways, if you guys got anything out of this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share. And until the next one, happy camping.